The theaters had a very interesting uh, run uh, with various spaces. Uh, we opened in a bank that was built in the early 1900s in Davenport. It was a very quirky space. Um, really neat uh, and versatile space. It definitely had some quirks. Uh, but it was a decent size to start out with. I looked around and I said, how are they going to put on a Sondheim show in here? Uh, because it was small. You never knew uh, from one show to the next which room was going to be your dressing room. Each time you walked in, you never knew what you were exactly walking into because the space always changed, which was awesome. There were a number of shows where we had to change the blocking because uh, Tristan kept putting more seats uh, in the theater so that uh, he wouldn't have to turn anyone away. He had to kind of walk through the set to get to the bathrooms. Uh, that's become a theme of the theater, actually. Because uh, when we moved into Rock Island, uh, down to the old Bruin View space, which was actually an old glass blowing factory. And the way the seating was set up, it was kind of raked up, and the stage was in the old glass blowing pit itself. And we looked at that and we were like, wow, that's so much more room, it's so cool. But everyone is looking down on us. So it was kind of like, <laughs> like, in, uh, like, Gladiator. Literally, they were looking down on us. We were we were performing in a pit. Made it to a very unique theater experience, um, but there were some challenges with that as well. Remembering to look up at the audience instead of out or down at the audience. Most theaters that I've worked at over the years, um, the audience is you're on elevated stage and you're looking out and down over the members of the audience at, at that particular space. Uh, the old Bruin View building. Uh, if, you, if you weren't looking up at the audience, number one, the lights wouldn't hit you. Number two, the people in the back row would just see the top of your head. And the space, you know, we had, you know, here to here kind of space uh, horizontally and much like the Harrison Hilltop space. What do we do? We looked up. Uh, there was a three story set in that space. It was fantastic. We had a full two level apartment unit for Avenue Q. Hitting your head on the pipe backstage every time you were going on or off. Uh, I think I've, everybody's got some blood in that space now, by now because of hitting your head. Um, you know, as long as you remember to duck, it was a fantastic place to go. And then when we moved from there, just two doors down to an old wine bar, um, that too had its quirks, but it was familiar enough and reminded me enough of the Davenport space that we were able to work with it pretty well. We had to get really creative because it was a you know, it was a two-car garage, as famously said in a review. Which is one of my favorite things that's ever been said. Um, but we were able to make it work. Uh, that's one thing that we're known for, is making it work. Um, the new space that, that we're going to be moving into is incredible. Uh, it's over 5,000 square feet, which means it's, you know, quadruple what we've had, which is awesome, because uh, any space that we've had has been between 1,200 and 2,000 square feet. It'll help bring us to that next level that we've been trying so hard to get to in the last couple of years, but just haven't been able to make that step. But with your help, we'll be able to make that step. And it'll be not just one step, it'll be a whole damn staircase. <laughs>